Hi everyone. I hope you are all doing well and feeling good today. As always, it is a pleasure to have you with me on my channel, where we explore the secrets of our world and unravel the mysteries of the past. After hours of research and exploration across various sources, I've uncovered some truly mind-blowing revelations that will challenge everything you thought you knew about history. And be sure to check out the description box for more fascinating topics that you won't want to miss. Now, I'll admit that my video quality may not be top-notch, but I can guarantee that the content is worth it. Some may call it revisiting old ideas, but I believe it's important to question the narratives that have been fed to us and explore all possibilities. If you want to stay in the loop on exclusive updates, be sure to join my Telegram channel, and don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case anything unexpected happens. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The proof of the technologies of the old world can be found all over hidden in plain sight. There have been many resets and many great civilizations that have fallen and erased from our history. Look at this Turkish painting from 1633. Look upon its intricate details and vivid colors with great care, for within its depths lies a mystery that has eluded humanity for centuries. Question everything my dear friends, for the secrets held within this piece of art may shake the very foundations of our understanding of the world. Allow your gaze to linger upon the figures within the painting, and let your mind wander to the possibilities that lay hidden just beyond our reach. Dare to ask the questions that others have been too afraid to contemplate, for in the pursuit of truth lies the key to unlocking the enigmas that have plagued us for generations. Look my friends, and see what others have missed. The answers we seek may be closer than we ever imagined. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The discovery of the New World in the 15th and 16th centuries sparked a new wave of curiosity among European explorers and cartographers. The idea of a vast land beyond the Atlantic was tantalizing, and with it came a sense of mystery and wonder about what else lay hidden within the unknown territories. One of the earliest attempts to map the Western Hemisphere was made by Spanish chart maker Diego Gutierrez and Hieronymus Koch, who created a stunning six paneled engraved map of the Americas in 1562. This map was a masterpiece of its time, featuring intricate depictions of the flora and fauna of the region, as well as indigenous peoples and their customs. But what caught the eye of many were the creatures that were scattered throughout the map, mermaids being one of them. These mythical beings, half-human and half-fish, were depicted in various poses, some holding mirrors or other objects. The inclusion of mermaids on the map added to the intrigue of the unknown lands and sparked the imaginations of people back in Europe. Interestingly, mermaids have been a recurring theme in ancient maps and reports for centuries, and not just in the Americas. It seems that many cultures across the world have their own version of these aquatic creatures, with variations depending on the location. There have been many reported sightings of mermaids and mermen throughout history, and even today, some people claim to have seen them. The question remains, are these sightings genuine, or simply the stuff of myth and legend? With so much of our ocean still unexplored, it's not impossible that these creatures could exist. Here are some reports about it. In 1187, a merman is said to have been taken near Suffolk, England. It resembled a man, but could not speak. It escaped one day, fled into the sea, and was not again seen. But the accounts of the early appearances of the mermaid are more circumstantial in northern countries. Here, where Nick dragged people down, where Rouse sucked the breath of the drowned, and where the Stronkerl and the Kelpie flourished, the mermaid was often seen, sitting on the rocks, combing her hair, and predicting disasters to the mariner. Icelandic chronicles relate that three sea monsters were seen near Greenland. The first, seen by Norwegian sailors in the water, had the body of a man, with broad shoulders, stumps of arms, and a pointed head. 
heavy storm succeeded its appearance. The second was like a woman to the waist, with large breasts, disheveled hair, and large hands on the stumpy arms, webbed like a duck's foot. It held fish in its hands and ate them. We also read in the chronicle of Storliformis, of the Hafstrumber. It resembles a man from the neck, in its head, its nose, and its throat, except that the head is extraordinarily high, and elongated in front. It had shoulders like a man, and attached to them two stumps of arms without hands. The body tapers below, but it has never been seen how it is formed below the waist. He also describes the Marguger. It is formed like a woman, as far as the waist. It has a large bosom, thick hair, large hands, with fingers webbed like the foot of a goose, attached to its stumpy arms. When we talk about cryptids, which are animals or creatures whose existence is disputed or unconfirmed, mermaids would be the most plausible for existing today. The ocean is vast and mysterious, and there are likely many species yet to be discovered. If mermaids do exist, it's possible they have been able to evade detection for so long, due to their elusive nature or their desire to avoid contact with humans. In conclusion, the depiction of mermaids on the Gutierrez and Cock map is just one example of how these mythical creatures have captured the human imagination for centuries. While we may never know for sure if they truly exist, the possibility of their existence adds an element of mystery and wonder to our world. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it valuable and informative, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Together, we can spread awareness and make a positive impact on the world. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope the information shared here was useful and insightful for you. Until next time.